Well, a De Pere favorite is now up for sale. Local 5's Timothy Leto tells us about why the owner made the decision and how she hopes that her dream will be able to live on. It's the end of a busy day at De Pere's Black Honey Hashery. This is kind of like where the magic happens. Quiet and empty now. It's filled with a lifelong dream of owner Molly Bluma. It was always my dream to have my own restaurant. But it was never my dream to have a breakfast restaurant, and I never drank coffee until I opened this building. Molly spent decades working in the restaurant industry and finally achieved her dream of opening her own restaurant seven and a half years ago. Some place where maybe I could be home at night with my family. So I left Title Town Brewing Company and I started the hashery. Molly has made it her own with every inch of decorations. Every corner. Pinterest can be a bad, bad place to go sometimes. Unique recipes. Our garlic and cheddar biscuits. And we just throw in a little bit of cheese because we're Wisconsin and a little bit of garlic to make it savory. Dozens of mugs. So they all have like their favorite mugs that they come in and they ask for. And close relationships with customers. Joe is here because he's ordering his one biscuit with the gravy and the egg on the top. And that's what she'll miss the most when it's gone. I'll miss not seeing those faces and you kind of get to know them. They're almost like family. Time has come for Molly to retire, to spend more time with her family than her 10 hours a day job allows. Time to sell Black Honey Hashery. And we're going to just kind of step back a little bit and enjoy our lives while we're still young enough to do some really fun things. It's time to pass that dream on to another owner. It would be kind of an ideal situation if somebody could just kind of come in and take over and slowly implement some of their ideas and some of their plans and turn it into their dream. It's the end of a dream. It's, it's like its own little community. The beginning of someone else's. Just taking it and running it a little farther. And the continuation of a legacy in good recipes and hospitality. In De Pere, Timothy Lateau, Local 5 News. Thank you, Tim. Uh, Molly is hoping to sell the restaurant by the end of the year. And as you heard Tim uh, mention, she wants to spend more time with her family and maybe do some traveling in retirement.